The piece that I will be performing is entitled Adagietto. It is for violin and piano. I will be playing the piano, and Naho Perini will be playing the violin. It is part of a festival called Paradigm Shifts, which is a music and film festival. Uh, it is being uh, produced by Encompass New Opera Theater in conjunction with the Environmental Educational Fund. And over the course of nine nights, they are showing films, all documentaries dealing with environmental issues. And they are pairing each of these films with some sort of musical performance. And the one that I'm doing is on February 28th at 7 p.m. And that is at the Actors Fund Arts Center in Brooklyn. I started taking piano lessons when I was probably seven years old. And from the very beginning, I would noodle around at the piano and make pieces up. And uh, by the time I was 10 years old, I was writing them down. And I just always had this interest in creating music to the point where my piano teachers all went crazy because I didn't practice. I was just making my own things up all the time, including writing my own sets of etudes. Uh, so it was from a very early age. I, I just always had the urge. My urge to create music um, that is really a hard thing for me to quantify. I mean, I just always had it in me. I, I, um, I grew up in Montana. I grew up in a, out in the country. I used to wander around the fields making up stories and making up songs to go with the stories. Um, and then I would go back to the piano and I would try to recreate those things at the piano and I would make recordings of what I was thinking of it just it just seemed to bubble up from somewhere inside I really trust performers instincts in terms of their instruments uh, so if uh, if I'm writing something for violin for instance I always work with the violinist in a collaborative sort of way at the beginning because I want that player to help me create the best possible piece I can that's idiomatic to that instrument. Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to change my ideas, uh, but there's sometimes different ways that you can write down an idea. Or certainly on a violin, they're going to know the way to shape that, to bow it, maybe change fingerings, maybe change some passage work a little bit that's actually going to sound more like what I hear in my head uh, than than I can imagine because I can't play that instrument. For me, writing for piano, well then that's not an issue because I'm a pianist so I, I know what works, at least for me, on the piano. I, I divide my workspace a little bit. At home I have my computer and all the electronic stuff and I have a piano certainly but um, I'm also on faculty up at the Teachers College at Columbia and I really like going up to a studio and being in a separate space and almost like having an office where I can get away from my belongings and do some work uh, so I'm not always in the same studio. I, I, and I like also uh, sometimes working on different pianos. Even just a different piano can give a different sound and can maybe generate some different sorts of ideas. I certainly have had dreams where I wouldn't say that I've dreamt that something was too difficult to compose, but I've had this feeling that it was the most beautiful, exquisite, the best thing that I ever could imagine, and it slips away the way a dream does, and there's no way to get it back. What sort of music am I listening to now? Mm -hmm. uh, gosh, I all kinds of things, and and. And then there are times when I don't listen to music at all. I, I just find that I need to sort of take a break. Um, but I really like to listen to, to many different genres. Uh, you know, last night I was at the Philharmonic. Um, earlier this week I played a chamber music concert. But it's not always all classical music either.